Hey guys, just got this in the mail, and it's a hub, so we're gonna take it out. And as you know, these hubs are really good when you guys have an iMac, because all the connections are on the back, and that's very annoying. So these hubs can be very, very important. So I've never had one of these type of hubs. I bought other ones from eBay. They all turned out to be good. However, this type, no. So I'm gonna test it out. I always suggest getting a hub that has some electricity to it. So you guys need to plug this in, plus this to your computer. So this goes to your outlet, and this goes to your computer. And uh, that's better, that way you guys get more power. If you guys get those hubs that just come like this without any additional power, well, they don't always work properly. And that's because all the power is coming from your computer, whether that's a Mac or just a laptop. Sometimes they don't provide enough for your hub to work, especially when you're trying to power on an external hard drive. So this is what you guys would need, this type of hub, when you're trying to power an external hard drive without it having any issues. So just to show you around this hub, that's how it looks like. It feels pretty light. It, that's not a great thing. Usually I like things to be a little bit heavier. That means they're a little bit more heavy duty. This does feel pretty lightish, but it feels okay for a hub. Hubs are never that heavy anyways. So with this hub, we do get four ports and we can turn them on and off like so. So we do have those buttons right there. I'm gonna test it out right now and see how well it works. I'm hoping that it just works just fine. There's not much into this hub. It's about the size, maybe a little bit smaller than my iPhone, obviously thicker, so maybe two iPhones put together, one stack with the other, that's the thickness. And how big it is, well, it's about, yeah, about iPhone size-ish. So in order to get my hub set up, all I have to do is plug this in the back here. That's for my extra power. Now this one in particular doesn't go all the way in. It, it usually do. But it's secure, so we can go ahead and just plug this into our outlet. And then this part goes into the back of our Mac or any computer you guys have. So what I can tell you right away is that this isn't as long as I would need it to be. I need it to be a lot longer in order to make this go all the way to the side. So this cable is a little bit too short when it comes to my Mac. I'm used to other hubs where the cable is a lot longer so I can just put this hub even underneath and that way it doesn't get in the way with everything. However, right now I'm just gonna have to place this back here and bring it up whenever I need it, but it doesn't look good. So I would get a cable that's longer than this one in particular. However, like I said, that's just for my Mac. The test right now would be just to turn on these lights. I'm supposed to turn on, yep. And the next task would be to run anything. So what I'm gonna do right now is just plug this in. I'm gonna plug this into an iPad and see if it charges an iPad, such as an iPad Pro. And if this works, that means it can sync up an iPad and it can conduct that much electricity. As you guys may know or may not know, iPads such as this iPad Pro require quite a bit in order to charge up. So we're gonna go ahead, turn that on and we should see some action happening here. Yep, all right, so I unplugged and plugged the cable back into the iPad. And now I can see that it's actually charging. So it does give me that charging signal up here. So you guys can see that right here. So it is in fact charging, which is great. And is it syncing? Well, as long as it charges, it usually will sync with your computer. That's just a test to see whether this hub works properly. Obviously, I will be doing a review afterwards. So after a few weeks, I'm gonna let you guys know if it still works. Even if you guys see the date when this was published, just ask me away, hey, how's your hub doing? Is it still working? Even if it's like three years after, three months after, I will get back to you and tell you what happened with this if I didn't get around to making a review of the hub itself. But for now, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.